Welcome back, Christ Lutheran family, especially welcome back to our young, younger children of God who were tuning in and showing up for this virtual children's message. We're, we're, um, we're continuing with our book, Easter Love Letters from God, and today we're going to hear a wonderful story about what love looks like, especially the kind of love that serves another person. We would often hear this story on Maundy Thursday, a Thursday of this week, but our author has divided up the story from Jesus entering into Jerusalem that we heard yesterday all the way through Easter Sunday a little bit differently, and it works really nicely the way she did this. So let's hear our story for the day that's called What Love Looks Like. And before we begin with the story, I want you to take a close look at this picture. You know, we can't see the people's faces except a little bit up here, but for the most part, we're invited, encouraged through the picture to look at the person who's down here, kneeling down with a bowl of water, and also at all of the people's feet. Let's see and listen to what that's all about. What love looks like. The disciples were excited. Jesus had invited them to a secret supper. But they'd been walking through the dusty streets of the city of Jerusalem all day. By the time they reached the special room, their feet would be filthy. Thank goodness a servant would be there to wash their feet for them. They didn't want to have dirty feet at dinner time. They were going to be eating with a king. But a surprise was waiting for the disciples. When they arrived at the room, there was no servant there. Jesus was kneeling on the floor. A bowl of soapy water was next to him, and he had a towel tied around his waist. You see? Jesus. Right there in that room, Jesus showed his disciples what love looked like. He took their feet in his hands and washed them, just like a servant would. The hands that created the world washed their feet. The special one from heaven made the disciples feel like they were the special ones. This is what love looks like, Jesus said. Love tells people how special they are. Love makes someone feel wonderful. When I am gone, go into the world and take love with you. The disciples didn't understand that Jesus was going to leave them but they understood what love looked like because the king of love had shown them. Come closer so you can see this great picture. We see Jesus kneeling down and washing his disciples' feet. Our Savior, God's Son, true God himself, was serving the people that were following him, the teacher was taking care of his students. And this had a powerful impact on all of Jesus' disciples because they learned from this, and we learn from this, that the way we love others, the way we love our neighbors, is by serving them. Let's hear the special letter that was written by the author. And we're invited to imagine that this letter is written to each of us from God. Did you know that the disciples did what Jesus asked them? They didn't forget how Jesus washed their feet that night. They didn't forget how much Jesus loved them. So they took that love into the world, and you can do the same. Never forget how much Jesus loves you. Show that love to others. If you do that, everyone will know that you are one of his disciples. So parents and grandparents, siblings that are a little bit older, I would invite you to find your Bible in your home 
and to read together from the Gospel of John, the Gospel of John, the 13th chapter, read verses 1 through 17. So the Gospel of John, the 13th chapter, verses 1 through 17. Have a wonderful Monday as you continue to enter into and walk through this Holy Week. I'll see you tomorrow.